Hi guys, today we're going to discuss Cambridge Primary Checkpoint English Paper 2 Fiction with a past paper code 0844-02 It's from October 2021 The duration for this paper is one hour First, let's get started by scrolling all over the questions So you may take a screenshot if you like to and pause this video for a while This is section A reading Question 1 to 20 Question 1, 2 and this is question C. Next, let's move to question 4 and 5. Here we go. This is question 6 and 7, 8, and then 9, A and B, and then 10, A and B. And next is question 11, 12, and 13. Then we move to 14, 15, and 16, and followed by question 17, 18, here we go, and 19, A, B, 20, A, B. Then section B, writing, spend 30 minutes on this section. So section A, 30 minutes, section B, 30 minutes. So 21, we have to write our own pebble. The instruction and some ideas, the moral characters setting, and this is space for your plan. Next, this is the space for writing. This is all together, two pages. So if you can write up to one, one and a half, maximum two pages is. Good. Okay, uh, this is the end of this paper. Now let's get started by answering all the questions. Before that, we read the insert. So this is our paper two fiction insert. Let's read. Uh, not more than ten minutes, if possible. Five minutes is good. Quick reading and can mark few important words, important things in the text and it might be useful for answering the question. Let's read together. So this is grandfather and the point of view is I. I. And there's a name given. Who is the is a bravest bee? Is the word in capital? Another character, a monster. Another name given. Sentence is the glossary. 
move away in fear. So now let's see the question together. Keep in mind that we only have less than 30 minutes, 25 or 20 minutes to do 20 questions. So it means one question maximum up to one minute. Question one, what does the rain make the fire do? So important word is the rain and the fire do. The rain make the fire do. Let's check the insert. This theme from beginning, the rain would funnel up from the values and shape and sizzle in the fire. So the rain and the fire. What will the rain do? Shape and sizzle. That's the answer. So we type down our answer. It would spit and fizzle in the fire. So that's quite easy, right? Less than one minute. Let's move to question number two. What item does the boy use to keep himself warm? So important word, warm. What item? That is the question. Let's see the text. Let's resume. So the boy said out. Pull a blanket around me and sit close to grandfather. So what item is he uses a blanket to keep himself warm? That will be our answer. However, if you have any other options, you can write in the comment section and we can clarify it to you if you're doubtful and type your comment in Susan Hira YouTube channel. Next is question three. Why does grandfather smile? Take one box. He's surprised by the boy's request. He thinks the boy's request is not appropriate. He's feeling confused by the boy's request. He's pretending not to know what the boy is requesting. Let's check the reading. So the key word is smile. Why grandfather smile? Here we go. Grandfather would smile. Then what comes next? Since grandfather say Nam Tong, who is he? So who is he it means the answer should be he is surprised by the boy. That's not it. He thinks the boy's request is not appropriate. He's feeling confused by the boy's request. Who is he? He is pretending not to know what the boy is requesting. Next, let's move to question number four. In the story, what do the trees help to create? So keep in mind, the subject is tree, create, the tree, create. Let's skim all over the question to find the word tree or something related to tree. This might be related to tree forest. These forest. Create. New days. Of the rain cloud in the branches and soon there were many rivers so the forest create many rivers that will be the answer many rivers flowing into the great rivers as we quote from the text many rivers flowing into the great river next question Give a reason why grandfather frowned line 17. So we underline grandfather frowned why. Let's find line 17. Here we go. Grandfather Brown. So this is the story long, long ago. Grandfather would begin and blah, blah, blah. And then... Again, and here is still grandfather continue about the forest and the great river. Then there is the boy interrupting. A monster came and after that grandfather frowned and nodded. And continued by but one day a monster came. So as we continue the story it says 
the monster Tam Lai came in the dark before the dawn and eating all animal trees and ETC. So it's a scary monster. So why grandfather frown is because it was unpleasant part of the story. There's one option, or you can say grandfather didn't like the monster, or if you have any other possible option, you can type in comment section in Susan Hiroi YouTube channel. Let's type the answer. So grandfather didn't like the monster. Now let's move to question number six. Question six. What time of day does the monster arrive? Early morning, midday, late afternoon, or evening? So, the monster arrived what time? Let's check. Well, it says, Tam Lai came in the dark before the dawn. So, that is the time before the dawn. It means the answer is early morning, not midday, not late afternoon, and not evening. Now, question 7. Look at line 17 till 24. Many different kinds of animals escape from the monster. How do we know the information in this paragraph that there are different kinds of animals? So the question is how do we know there are different kinds of animals? Let's check for line 17 till 24. Here we go, line 17 till 24. How do we know there are different kind of animal? So the animals ran and flew and and swam for cover deeper into the forest. So there are different way of escaping. Let's type the answer down. So in here we answer the animals ran and flew and swam for cover deeper into the forest, different ways of moving. That's how we know. All right, let's move to question eight. Question eight, why are the fish dying? So the key word is fish dying. Let's find out. Let's find the word fish. The fish were left flapping and dying in the mud. So the great river, it became no more than a trickle. It means the water wasn't there. So there's no water and the fish couldn't breathe. And Tam Lai. drinking up all the water. Let's type that answer. So question eight, why are the fish dying? There is no water, so fish could not breathe. Next question, number nine. Question nine, look at this sentence. By the end of the day, there was only a straggle of trees clinging to one small mountain, line 23 till 24. What is the phrase? Clinging to one small mountain. An example of, is it a simile, a rhyme, personification or alliteration? Now let's look at the definition of each term. Simile is a comparison between two different things. Similes use connecting words as like and as. Examples? She swims like a fish, like is used here. He is as hairy as a gorilla, as is used here. So similarly, we'll have either like or as. Now, what is rhyme? Rhyme is a repetition of similar sounds in two or more words, examples, news and views. So we know this is simile. What is rhyme and Personification and alliteration. Personification is the act of giving non-human thing human characters, like the car of to life, the flower dance in the breeze. 
While alliteration is the use of the same beginning consonant sound in a line or verse. Example, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled pipers. So all start with P, there will be alliteration. Let's check lines 23 till 24 for this word. So here we go. By the end of the day, there was only a straggle of trees clinging to one small mountain. So the meaning of the word clinging. Well, from the story, you can see that the monster can lie tearing up the ground, drinking up the great river. The fish were left flapping, and by the end of the day, only a straggle of fish clinging to a small mountain. So the meaning of the word clinging, meaning to hold on somebody or someone tightly and refuse to let it go. So the trees clinging mean they're trying not to fall down. So let's type the answer. So the tree act like a person who hold on someone tightly and refuse to let it go. That is the meaning of the word clinging in this. So the tree is considered as a person. So this is personification. So we pick this one, personification. Next, let's move to question 10. There is still 9b. 9b. What does the word clinging tell us about the tree? As the tree... straggle and hold on to the small mountain tightly. So the word clinging tell us that the tree try not to fall down. So let's type that answer. So we write the trees are trying not to fall. However, if you have any other option like the trees are barely able to hang on or another possible answer. If you are doubtful, you can type in the comment section to clarify. Next, let's see question 10. Question 10, look at this sentence. He pulled himself up to his full height. Lines 26 till 27 give a reason why the monster pulled himself up to his full height. Let's check line 26, 27. So give a reason why the monster pulled himself up to his full height. Here we go, this is line 26, 27. He pulled himself up to his full height. This is the word. Please leave us this forest. It is all we have left, but still the monster was hungry. He pulled himself up to his full height. It can be to intimidate or to frighten the animals or to make himself look as big as possible. So we just type one possible answer. So we type to frighten the animal. Now let's see question 10b. Question 10b, why is an ellipsis used or three dots used in the sentence above? Tick one box. So only one is the answer to show that the story has been interrupted to emphasize the information given to allow grandfather to think what happens next to signal the next part of the story. So there's ellipsis here, the three dots. He pulled himself up to his full height and then followed by when grandfather got to this part. So there is an interruption here. Or a pause. Let's see the function of ellipsis. So we can use ellipsis to show an unfinished statement or one to be continued or to indicate a pause or interruption or to show where words have been left out. This is the example of ellipsis. I never thought ellipsis. I ellipsis really don't something understand it. Snow White, Goldilocks, and Three Dots, very popular story for children. So our answer will be, it indicates a pause or interruption. Let's type that down in the answer slot. So we tick here, 
to show that the story has been interrupted. That will be our answer for 10B. Next, we move to question 11. Look at this sentence. When grandfather got to this part, I would stand up and flap my blanket, throwing giant shadows out behind me. Line 28, 29. The boy flapped his blankets to make giant shadows behind him. Why does he do this? So we see lines 28, 29. And answer the question why the boy flapped his blanket to make giant shadows behind him. Lines 29, 28, let's see. So when grandfather, this is line 28, 29, when grandfather got to this part, I would stand up and flap my blanket, throwing giant shadows out behind me. I would take a deep breath and roar. In here, throwing giant shadows, so it indicates that the boys was trying to make himself look scary, or was trying to make himself look bigger. So that will be one option of the answer. Let's type that down. So he was trying to make himself as big as Tam Lai. Let's move to question 12. Question 12, grandfather pretends to be afraid. Grandfather would pretend to power. Line 31, why does grandfather pretend to be afraid? Let's check line 31. Here we go, lines 31. Grandfather would pretend to power. All the animals eat, not even the tiger or the bear, were a match for this monster. So all the animals scared. So let's type one answer down. So in here it's clear that grandfather pretend to be afraid and all the animals eat. It means Grandfather is acting out the story, or he was pretending to be afraid of Tam Lai, and all the animals are afraid. That will be the answer. So we type down grandfather pretends to be afraid. Why? So he is showing how the animals felt when they saw Tam Lai. They are all afraid. Next question 13. Look at the sentence, not even a, the tiger or the bear were a match for this monster. Line 31 to 32, what does the phrase not even tell us about grandfather's op opinion of the tiger and the bear? So line 31 to 32, let's check. Here is not even the tiger or the bear were a match for this monster. So grandfather's opinion is because of the word not even. Grandfather's opinion is the tiger and the bear are strong but not strong enough to beat the monster. So you can type down the answer. Number 13, they are strong but not strong enough to beat the monster. Now let's move to question 14. Question 14, look at lines 31 to 33, give an example of anomatopoeia from these lines, 31 to 33, let's check before that, let's see the definition of anomatopoeia. Anomatopoeia is a word that imitates the sound it represents, like splash of water, pop of balloon, bang. Okay, that is anomatopoeia. Now let's see from the insert. So line 31 to 33, here we go, let's skim it, and buzz, that will be the onomatopoeia. So let's type that answer down, buzz, here we go, number 14, now let's move to number 15, why does Tam Lai think will happen? to him if he the bee attacks him. What does Tam Lai think? So this is a small bee. A small bee flew out and burst in front of Tam Lai's face. 
and the name is Nam Pang, the bee, and I will stop you. The monster caught Nam Pang in his paw and threw back his head and laughed. You are so small, your sting would be no more than a pimple on me. So what does Na Tan Lai think what will happen if the bee sting him then? In here it says that your thing would be no more than a pimple on me. So that will be what happened. So let's type down in the answer slot. Tan Lai think that he will get a pimple mark from the bee sting. Let's move to question 16. Look at this sentence. Nam Peng quivered in fright but he looked the monster in the eye. Line 14. What does this sentence about tell us about the character of Nam Peng? So let's check line 40. Here we go, Nam Peng quivered in fright when he looked at the monster in the eye. So, so even he was trembling, Nam Peng looked the monster in the eye. So he dared to look the monster in the eye. It shows that Nam Peng is brave. So let's type that down. So he is brave. Or you can say he is determined, he is fearless. If you have any other option, you may type in the comment section in Susan Hira YouTube channel. Let's move to question 17. Look at line 44. Turn around me, not the 10 lie. Why does 10 lie say this? Take one box. He thinks the bee is talking to someone else. He is unable to hear what the bee is saying. He is surprised that the bee is telling him what to do. He feels unsure about what the bees want from him. Let's see lines 44. So here we go, line 44. Turn around, me, snorted and lie. The monster turned. Before him, swirled a huge black cloud. A storm of angry bees filled the whole sky from end to end, blotting out the sun. So Tan Lai crumpled to his knee. So if we see the option, he thinks the bee is talking to some, someone else. It's not the option. He's unable to hear it. Not really. He's surprised. This will be the correct answer. The bee is telling him to do. He feels unsure about what the bee wants from him. So we take this one. Question 17. Next, question 18. A huge black cloud made up of what is a huge black cloud. Let's check. Before him, a huge black cloud. When the monster turned around, so it is a storm of angry bees fill the whole sky. That is what a huge black cloud is. So we can just type a swarm of bees. Next question 19. Grandfather's story is an example of pebble. When how you know it is a pebble? Give two reasons. First, let's check what is pebble. So Pebble is a make-believe story that teaches a lesson. So the characters are usually uh, animals who act like people. And Pebble teach a lesson that is usually set at the end of the story. That is three characteristics of Pebble. So in the story we can see that it's bee and monster. So the characteristic characters are the animals who can talk like a person and at the end the monster crumpled to his knees he was lost by a swarm of bees so there's a moral story says that the last statement I may be small but I am not alone so it just teach us a moral story that size doesn't matter but numbers matter so that will be the option we type that in answer slot so animals characters who act like people it teaches a moral lesson question 19b pebbles usually have a moral what is the mo most suitable moral for grand's power story so type down size does not matter so the bee is small but a swarm of bees a great numbers matters numbers do so that's how the monster is defeated question 20 who is the point of view character in this text and how do you know question 20b 
as we see this story used a lot of, I would say, I would back, so the answer will be the boy. This is the point of view of the boy, and how do we know? Because uh, it is written in the first person. Let's type that down in the answer slot. So, the boy, and it is written in the first person. So, that's it for section A1 till 20. Now, this is section B, writing. We spend 30 minutes. Question 21, write your own fable. First, choose a moral for your fable. Then decide what it is going to be about. Choose your characters and setting. Write your moral at the end of your story. You can use the ideas below to help you. Moral, don't give up when things go wrong. It's important to think ahead. Learn from other people's mistakes. Be happy with what you have or another moral of your own choice. Characters can be ant, fox, bear, bird, other animals, and setting can be in a forest, river, desert, jungle, or another place. This is the space for your plan, and this is the slot for your answer. It will be two pages. So the marking scheme for this is divided into four sections. 25 of maximum mark of 25 is divided into eight for content, purpose, and audience, seven for text structures and organization, sentence structures and punctuation, seven, and spelling will be three. This is the breakdown, so the text structures and organization will be if it consists of clear structures with well-organized material within the paragraph, there's logical links between paragraph and for content, purpose, and audience will be maximum to eight marks if the material is relevant to the content and features of the text are clearly established and clear point of view with a consistent. For sentence structures and punctuation, it's maximum up to seven marks. We must use correct punctuation and grammar is accurate. Also, the use of complex sentence will be appreciated. For spelling, definitely we have to use correct spelling, of course, especially for uh, difficult words or polysyllabic words. So that's it for this paper. Now we'll scroll all over the questions. So you may take a screenshot of the mark scheme and use it for practice. This is the answer for question one, two, and this is three. Next is answer for question four and five. Continue by question six, seven and eight, nine, question nine, A and nine B. Next is question 10A and 10B. Sorry guys, there is a wrong spelling for 10 life. 10 life is T-A-M-L-A-A-I. So this is the answer for question 11. And then question 12, the same, 10 life. So this is a correction. Next is question 13, that is the answer. And 14, 15, 16. And then we move to question 17, 18, 19, and 19 A and B, and followed by question 20 A and B. So today we have discussed Cambridge Primary Checkpoint with the past paper code 0844. It's from Paper 2 Fiction, October 2021. Please check links in the description to see other useful links covering all past paper for English, Mathematics, Science, primary, secondary, and all other past paper. Please like and subscribe and ring the bell. Click the S button to subscribe so you will be the first to be notified when release, we release our latest updates weekly. And if you have any question, idea, inquiry, question, request, please feel free to write in the comment section in Susan here YouTube channel and email us if you are interested to join with study with teaching online, together for all these subjects and all these program. Um, Bye-bye and we hope today's discussion will be helpful to you and God bless you.